guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top tips for having a stress-free school morning. Now come January we start a new school session and I kind of take the opportunity to refresh the routine. So that's exactly what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to share with you what we do to get ready the night before, what we say for the morning, and some rules that I'm hoping to enforce. And hopefully they'll help us stay on track and get out the door on time. Okay guys, now before we get started, I'm super excited to be partnering with General Mills on today's video. So it's definitely going to be a twofer. I'm going to share with you my tips to have a stress-free morning, what our new routine is going to be, but I'm also going to share with you information about the new Box Top for Education app that you can use to help raise money for your local schools. Before I get started on tip number one, I want you guys to keep these things in mind when it comes to schedules and routines. Keep it simple and keep it realistic. I know for me, I can make schedules and routines all day long. I have no trouble making the routine, but following it is another story. I know I need to be more consistent, and I also know that if I make it realistic, that'll make it easier for me to stick to, so keep that in mind. Also, everyone's schedule is going to be different depending on how many kids you have, what kind of school they go to, and where it's located, things like that. I'm just sharing what my plan is to hopefully help you guys out there if you're looking for some tips. And number three, don't be afraid to change your schedule or routine if it's not working. I always look forward to the new school session because it gives me a chance to refresh it. So that's what we're doing. We're going to try it out, and if it doesn't work, we'll try something else. So tip number one has to do with clothes. Now thankfully my kids aren't really picky about what they wear, but our problem is that we need to get our clothes ready the night before. This is a big issue because there have been times, literally five minutes for, before we're supposed to head out the door where we're still searching for someone's jacket because we've left it in the car or for instance, I forgot to put the clothes in the dryer so all the clothes are still wet and now stinky, things like that. So if you can get your clothes ready, the night before, it's going to make your mornings so much better. Here's what I like to do. Last year, I actually set up a laundry filing system, and I have a separate video on this if you'd like to check it out, but I know we have a lot of new friends here, so I'll go ahead and mention it anyway. But I just use these plastic bins that are made for scrapbooking supplies, and I have one for each day of the week, except Sunday, for each child. So when it's laundry day, I will wash and dry the clothes and then I'll actually file an outfit in each drawer for each child. That way, Monday through Saturday, their clothes are already picked out and ready to go. All they have to do is go to the closet and pick out the clothes for that day and hopefully dress themselves. Now, if you don't have a clothes filing system like mine, don't worry. There's a lot of different ways you can organize your clothes. But you can also just start off small by putting out one day's worth of clothes. You could put it on the dresser, you could hang it on the edge of your bed, maybe just put it on a hanger with a little label, something like that. Just to make it easier to find, it's already picked out and you're not doing that in the morning. Tip number two is to create a launching pad. Have you guys ever heard of this? I know I've heard several of my favorite vloggers talk about this and it's such a good idea. I don't know why it took me so long to make one of my own, but I did and it totally works. Basically, a launching pad is a designated area in your house where you can put backpacks, shoes, coats, keys, everything that you're going to need to get out the door quickly it can go in one place. You can actually set that up the night before. Now for some people this might be in a mud room or a hallway closet, but if you're like me and you're short on space, just a couple of hooks on the wall will do the trick. So I like to set out these things the night before so they're ready to go. All we have to do in the morning is add our lunches, our water bottles, maybe some homework or assignments, and that's it. We're out the door. We don't have to search for these things. They're ready to go. Tip number three has to do with meal prep, which can definitely take a lot of time in the morning if you're making breakfast and lunch for four people. Now, if you've been around on my channel for a while, I'll probably already know that I like to make fun lunches for my kids. But you'll also probably know that I'm not usually a morning person because I've stayed up too late the night before, so I don't have a lot of time in the morning to make these lunches and breakfast. So here's what I do. I definitely take some help from the store. 
On days where you don't have a lot of time, I like to just focus on making one or two special things, like a special sandwich or cutting the fruit and vegetables in a special way, so it's fun for the kids. But to save on time, I will also pair this with some store-bought items. Things that are quick and easy for breakfast and easy to throw in the lunch. Things I know that they like. So this is definitely a win-win for me because not only does it save me time and it's super easy, but a lot of these products are also included in the box tops for education program. I know a lot of moms and dads out there that are already clipping and saving their box tops. Even my kids who attend a charter school can still participate in helping raise money for their school. Now just as a side note you guys, I created a cute little DIY to keep my box tops in. This is an old gum container and I just glued a magnet on the back and put a little decorative sticker on the front. So anytime you get a box top, I can easily just stick it right in there and this can stay, whoop, this can stay on my fridge just like that so they don't get lost. And now there's actually an app that you can use to make it even easier to raise more money for your school. It's called the Box Tops for Education Program Bonus App. Now FYI you guys, this is a free app, so thumbs up for that. First you just sign in and pick your school. Next you can scroll through and find offers that you like, like things that you would normally buy. And then you just add them to your list. Then you just pick up these items on your next shopping trip. Right now through January 31st, if you buy five participating items and you scan your receipt with the app, you can earn an extra $5 for your school. And these are items like Honey Nut Cheerios, Yolk Play Yogurt, Annie's Cheddar Bunnies, and so much more. I haven't had any trouble finding these items at my local Walmart, which makes it really convenient to pick them up. You don't have to go to a special store or pay more or anything like that. Now after you make your purchases, all you have to do is scan your receipt. It's just as easy as that. Then through the app, you can actually see how much you're earning for your school. Now keep in mind, you guys, that this is the bonus app, so you can totally do the traditional box top clipping and saving as well. They go together. And for me, I would probably buy these items anyway, so it's really nice to just take those couple extra steps to help the local schools. It makes me feel good about it. Okay guys, my last tip is about technology. Specifically, setting up rules and being consistent in enforcing those rules, which I haven't really done very well in the past. But I know for my kids, if the TV's on, if they're using the computer, it's really hard to get ready and stay on task. So. I've set up some rules and some boundaries and it's going to be up to me to make sure that I enforce them consistently. Now my kids are actually pretty tech savvy so they know how to work the remotes, the computers, the iPads, things like that. And on the weekends and when we're not doing school I'm totally fine with them using those. But in the mornings we've decided to have no TV, no computer at all until they're ready. So. I actually like to hide the remote, I'll hide the computer so they can't use them or be tempted to use them at all. But it's sort of an incentive as well because I let the kids know, okay, once you've had your breakfast and you're ready to go, like completely ready to go, then if we have time, and usually we don't, but if we have time, then they can watch a show. Then they can use their computer until we actually need to leave. So hopefully it'll help them speed along as well. Okay friends, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And certainly in a few months, I will definitely check in with you guys and let you know whether this routine and this system has worked or if it's an epic fail, because it could go either way. Now let me know in the comments down below if you have any other tips for me or other moms who might be reading the comment section, what are your tips for having a smooth, stress-free morning? We could always use some more tips, so leave them down below. Now, if you have any more questions about the Box Top for Education app, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.